so when you talk about the budgeting mainly there are two types of budgets opex budget and the capex budget <clears throat> so just as i'll explain about this one also what is opex budget what is capex budget and i have a uh you are a link for this one i will share that one with you okay this is this url also i will give to you share with you and what is capex and what is the opex capex versus opex <clears throat> uh what is a capex capital expenditures are purchases of significant goods or services that will be used to improve a company's performance in the future so it can be the goods the significant goods or services that will be used to improve company's performance of the future <clears throat> expenditure are typically fixed assets like property plant and equipment so when you are doing the projects you need these things so examples of capital expenditure manufacturing plant equipment and machinery building improvements computers vehicles and trucks and when you come to the operational expenditure operating expense of cost the company incurs for running its day to day operations <clears throat> these expenses must be ordinary and customary cost for the industry in which the company operates the following are common examples of operating expenditures rent and utilities wage and salaries accounting and legal fees overhead costs such as selling general and administrative expenses property taxes business travel interest paid on debt so all these things are operational expenditures so you have to prepare annual budget for these things so capex also you have to prepare when you say the capex here uh, cash disbursement each month how much cash you require accordingly the for your financial people will get ready money for those things but normally your annual business plan when you are preparing you have the capex opex so first you prepare it and submit to the your board of directors or the top management and the so most of the time they will curtail the things depending on their annual budget they have for the company because board of directors decide how much capex will be spent for this year how much opex can be spent for this year so depending on the situation of the political economical situation sometimes they may reduce this expenditures then you may have to curtail something so i would like to get the some comments from mr asel on this area uh, yeah uh, so yes now we are preparing uh, the annual business plan normally we yes, get together yes. and prepare many projects yeah. then we submit to the board of management yeah. first you discuss with the chief officer normally then after that he submit to the board but we have to fight with them to keep mm. our projects going on because otherwise the our section will not show any performance the required performance okay can you so uh, now in a, in a, there are different kinds of companies for example a, a service company uh, will not have lot of capital expenditure for example if it is if it is a uh, i uh, software development company they won't have lot of capital expenditure their capital expenditure will be limited to uh, computers laptop uh, and maybe uh, a building uh, other than that uh, there won't be much of capital expenditure but for a company like uh, sri lanka telecom dialog Uh, Asiata or uh, electric generation company, electricity company or manufacturing company, there will be a requirement for lot of uh, cap capital expenditure for plants, buildings, uh, cables, uh, towers, machinery, vehicles. that kind of lot of uh, capital expenditure will be there for uh, that kind of so they they 
depending on the type of organization, the capital requirement will be very different. For a service company, it is very minimal. For a capital company, uh, capital uh, uh, you know investment company, where you invest in plant and machinery to derive your uh, revenue, you, it will be huge amounts, billions, uh, maybe depending on the, your size. And uh, I, I'll give you a very good example. Now, for example, for us, we have let's say 500 people. When we want to buy office uh, software, right? Office software, uh, we have we can have two options. We can buy office software outright as a uh, perpetual license, meaning it, it is license we buy, and we don't need to pay annually. That is that will be considered as a although it is not a tangible thing, it is an asset. It becomes an asset, and it is capital expenditure. If we buy the license outright. Uh, for the use of power, 500 people, okay? But uh, if we don't have uh, upfront cash to buy that uh, number of licenses, which is capital expenditure, we have to have upfront cash to buy. So if we don't have, we have to have another option. Okay, we go for an annual subscription. Uh, when you go for an annual subscription, it becomes operational expenditure. So that is a very good example where you can differentiate between the nature of capital expenditure and operational expenditure. You uh, for operational expenditure subscription basis, you go for Office 365, right? If it is Microsoft Office 365, you need to pay annual license fee. It is for a use period, use for a period, and we can, it becomes operational expenditure. Uh, the difference is when it is operational expenditure, it is immediately deducted. Uh, you know, reducing your profits for the year. But when it is capital expenditure, it is depreciation, which is applied to the uh, well, uh, loss or the profit and loss account of your company. It's quite similar, but depending on how much cash you have and whether you can pay upfront, uh, you have to make this decision whether to go for capital expenditure or operational expense. Similarly, if you are a manufacturing company, you can lease a vehicle or you can own a vehicle, right? When you own a vehicle, it becomes your asset, capital expenditure. When you lease a vehicle, a wet lease, uh, it becomes your operational expenditure. So that is the kind of uh, explanation that you can have in your mind. Uh, and yes, Mr. Tilakshila said, when I mean, you are in a, a small section, uh, if you want to have a profitable, if you know that you have a profitable uh, project to do, you have to fight for it because uh, companies have limited ca uh, limited uh, investment capacity. Say they have uh, got a share issue and got uh, fundraising for 10 billion rupees. So, and for that 10 billion, everybody will have to fight for the uh, for a chunk of it uh, to perform. Say you have, and the company's business strategy will say what are the priorities uh, for a telco company? Okay, they will say five. Fifth generation uh, mobile network is our first priority. Uh, or oh, fiber will be our first priority. Uh, fiber deployment. We want to uh, deploy 100,000 lines within this year. Uh, so they will uh, uh, separate that 10 billion rupees into these projects. And uh, there will be other priorities like back end work, like I ICT systems, billing systems, uh, ERP systems. And then there will be requirement to buy vehicles, uh, maybe transmission towers. So there will be different priorities. And the board of directors will, uh, the sections, if you are a section head, you will have to pro propose your budget, with this much capital, this much operational expenditure. And then the uh, board of directors will decide uh, ultimately going through the several steps, they will decide which are uh, priority number one, how much budget is allocated for that, and what is the scope of work they have to do, uh, depending on the company's business plan. So that is how it happens. Thank you.